good morning everyone good morning today if you can hear my voice i'm actually sick of the cold i'm very very like sick in the sense that i cannot smell anything and as a result this has taken away my morning sickness completely because i cannot smell anything even when i imagine food i cannot um think of the smell of it i mean i can think of the smell of it but it's not making me so sick so I, th I think it's safe to say that I'm actually happy that I have this cold that has stopped me from getting morning sickness. And as a result, I have taken advantage of today. I've taken a bath and then usually I don't apply deodorant. That's how bad it is. But today I applied deodorant and not only that, I haven't oiled my hair in almost a week. And today is the time to take advantage of that. And as you'll see guys, I still have the same hairstyle that I've been having for over a month because I don't have the strength to go and stay for hours um, at a hair salon. So, so I'm using the same thing that I use for my body. This is just extra coconut oil. So yeah, that's what's going on today. So I'm taking advantage of the sickness. It's, what, it's when I'm going to be working extremely hard today, taking advantage of the day and just like working because when I'm having the morning sickness, I just want to stay in bed all day long. But today, since I don't have, I mean, look at me. I cannot smell anything. As much as losing the sense of smell is very bad for other people, for me at this point, it's actually an advantage. So I'm going to continue um oiling my hair and oh my goodness this is this is good for me like <laughs> i don't know so i'm just gonna apply the hair oil on my hair and just take advantage of this when i get better my hair will be moisturized like it's been it's been such a very it's been torture let me tell you Pregnancy is something that you get pregnant when you're pregnant you just vow and say oh I'll never be pregnant again This is over and then from there you you, you you become pregnant again. Actually, I'm not the only person that is sick in this family um, Michael is sick. Oh my poor baby. That's why it's morning and none of the people are awake even my husband because my, my husband is not sick thankfully, um, but Michael is sick Caleb is sick. Joshua is not that sick. So the one that was hit hard is me and Michael. Caleb is sick, but it's not as bad. So last night, Michael could not sleep. My baby was tossing. I had at one point to have to wake up and hold him upright so that he can sleep. And then he slept a little bit and then I put him down and then he started to get congestion again. And then uh, my husband, um, he was still working because my husband works very late at night. And then uh, when he came back to sleep, um, Michael was still tossing, so he felt bad for Michael, and then he lifted up Michael to walk him around in the house, and then from there he slept. So he's been sleeping, but he slept late. So my, my husband is sleeping a little late today, and then the twins are sleeping a little late today. So I got ready for the day. Uh, as you see, I don't know if you can see that. It's still warm, warm, early in the morning. But after I got back from the bathroom, Michael was awake, Joshua was awake, and my husband are awake. And I'm not the only one that is awake. So what is going on, guys? I still haven't seen the doctor. Oh my goodness. So what happened is that I called doctors to meet them, but they say they cannot meet me until unless I'm 8 to 12 weeks. And I'm still not 8 weeks yet as of recording this video. I should, I mean, my pregnancy test became positive so early and... I'm not even eight weeks at this point and I shed before eight weeks and I'm still here waiting to reach eight weeks so that I can book an appointment. I was actually kind of disappointed to be honest with you guys. I thought doctors should just take you but maybe they receive a lot of people thinking they were pregnant and they changed the policies. I called two doctors already telling me the same story that um, they cannot see me until I'm um, at least eight weeks. They preferably 12 weeks, but at least eight weeks. So I didn't know that. I, I th then again, for the past pregnancies, I went to the doctors late, but this time I just wanted to go early. But I don't know why, but I guess 
I did right the last time. The last with my with the twins, I went at four weeks. With Michael, I forgot exactly when I went, but I don't think it was at eight weeks mark. I don't think so. But that's what the doctor said. Let me know if it's the same in your state or where you are from. If we have to wait at least eight to twelve weeks. So I showed Ellie, and no, I don't think I'm pregnant with twins. I don't think so because I. I the morning sickness is not very intense because with Michael it was I mean with the twins it was very very intense so it was clear that I was having twins even before I knew that but this time it's bad but it's not very intense so I don't think I'm carrying two I mean I'll be happy if I'm carrying two but I doubt so this is what's going on so far and I'm excited that today I'm gonna work I cannot smell anything guys it's actually misty today and the, the, the frost is melting and usually in the morning you smell that moist but I cannot smell anything and as a result it is helping me big time with the sick, morning sickness I'm taking all the advantage of how I'm feeling right now this is millet dates and blueberries it's been my staple every day and I've been loving it I, I, I don't know why all of a sudden I'm loving porridge but it's been porridge it has to be millet not oatmeal for some reason I took the boys uh, on a quick outing to uh, Walmart and to the other shop at Natural Grocers to pick up some emergency groceries. Uh, one of the things that's an emergency is my wife has been craving buffalo wings. I never made buffalo wings and they're very expensive in the restaurants. So I'm going to try to make some uh, buffalo wings from scratch. I got some millet here, organic millet, strawberries, bought some hair clippers for the kids. Uh, our uh, hair clipper got destroyed in Botswana, and so we're going to start giving the, the boys his haircuts, bananas, ranch dressing for the uh, buffalo wings, got some uh, organic uh, basmati rice, as well as some uh, mandarins. These are really good. They've been very good the last uh, couple times I bought them. I bought this uh, Dr. Seuss Hop on Pop uh, book, and the boys uh, should be able to read it, no problem, with their... Uh, with their uh, newly found reading skills. We'll see how they do on it. Meanwhile, my wife is really hungry right now, so I'm gonna crank out a, a quick a yogurt sundae for her. Uh, that's gonna be yogurt, uh, granola, and strawberries. Here's the finished product, and let's see how she likes it. So guys, I... <laughs> I'll think about how it's feeling better, but I work though. Now, the smell is coming back. And I'm getting sick but I think it's because also I'm hungry so let me show you what I'm eating in bed my husband is amazing guys I feel so blessed I feel like I owe him that's that's I mean like have you ever like have someone do everything for you that you just feel like you owe that person I feel that way the same way when it's more like when um, you get saved and you understand how much God loves you and you just understand that you start to realize that like wow I owe God my life like you just start to think that way like you just like think like oh I want to do everything that makes God happy I want to be on the well down thou faithful servant kind of people type of people and I feel the same my husband has really done a lot for me I'm not saying he's like God to me I know I'm not saying that <laughs> But I just want to show you how I appreciate him. Now he made me a snack. This is Greek yogurt with some fresh fruit and granola. Just so that I can have something on my stomach and not fall sick. I put dates in it. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. And I want to update with you guys. Like, um, I said in this video that I was, I was scheduled to go for eight months, eight weeks. Last time I was able to book an appointment though. Um, but um, it, it didn't go through because they said that they wanted um, no children at this point we don't have anyone to look out our children <laughs> oh my goodness so when your husband is driving you to the doctor's office and you don't have it was it was three hours away so that was we were able to get through other one three hours away but we had to cancel because um, that was before you even knew you were gonna get sick but the main reason why is because um i'm not feeling well 
the main reason is because we are we can we have to have the office that at least let the kids for my husband to drop me off with the kids their language was very strong that you don't no child regardless if we have a disabled person they have to have an adult accompany them there's no exception of no children i'm like whoa do you have to write it that way i mean i understand where people are coming from but it's amazing oh my goodness you will miss Botswana because you know in Botswana my mom will be staying with them but here even here even Nana and Papa were here but dang it's crazy how do people live without a nanny that's the kind of questions that I ask myself or if you have if you don't have people that you can really leave your kids with what do you do the more I think about it, I kind of see, now that I think about it, why we have more children back in Africa than here. Because back in Africa, you don't need, if, if a doctor says that no children are allowed, no problem. Someone else will remain with them with no problem at all, with no cost, with no extra charge. But when I saw my husband, I really like closed on that one and he had to cancel an appointment because it was no it was like no children at all and i need some little help we're like okay it's not worth it to drive there three hours and then they don't let they don't want to see children that's that's pretty much how it sounded i was like whoa i'm like it's not even i mean right now it's spring so I possibly understand why. Maybe RSV is going through, is going around. I wonder if they're gonna relax those rules in the summer. Here are the wings, just straight out of the oven. They look really good. And then I'll be mixing them uh, with some homemade buffalo sauce here. Pardon. I'll sprinkle a little cayenne pepper. My wife likes a really spicy. Taste test. My love for asparagus now. Mm. This is good. Mama. Better than the store one, and they taste more fresh. Mama, Mama, hmm? all right. One rice. Hey guys, so I had to go to sleep and put on my PJs, and we are not feeling well. My husband is not catching the call, right? Not bad. He's always saying not bad. I'm hoping that he's really not bad. And um, here's my boo boo. Mikey, say hi. And now I'm feeling <coughs> nauseated for sure. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. And um, usually when I feel this way, the best part for me is to eat what I ate for breakfast, which is millet. That way it makes it easier to throw up. I like to make it easier to throw up at night because nights are usually the time when my throwing up time is really, really sensitive. So I I really, like, that's the time. So millet is my go-to because millet, I told you guys, millet, if you're out of also like oatmeal, but at this point I don't want oatmeal. I only want millet, and uh, millet porridge. So it makes it soft so even if just to come out i'll not choke it just makes everything easy so that is what is going on right now and um it's rough you guys the cold is making everything bad in the morning i was saying that cold was better and so that just stopping nausea but everything went downhill from there and i had to take oh baby still coughing i had to take a lot a lo very long nap like very very long nap and even now my body is feeling extremely exhausted it's just that when you're pregnant you kind of you catch stuff easily i one of the times our kids were very sick um i only was supposed to go to to arizona for thanksgiving the kids were very very sick and my husband and i thankfully we didn't get that sick i mean we get kind of like a little scratchy throat and then we're fine but our bodies were not shut down like today like i am today one thing i noticed about my pregnancies is that um hopefully there's scientific proof that like um when you're pregnant you get like you easily get sick for me that's that's the case when i'm pregnant i get sick with the cold very easily 
I get oh my goodness it's bad I get just like sick very easily so when one of my kids get the catch the cold that means my is gonna catch the cold and yeah that's what's going on and um so right now I'm gonna eat my millet it's rough that's what I can say I cannot wait to get over through the first trimester and go back to my bubbly self my happy self like oh you just telling my husband that I wanted to just today with the sickness and all that stuff I just wanted to just cry like just like break down and cry because I felt like my body was just my body usually when I'm sick like this my emotions also go down and then I start to feel a little overwhelmed which is funny because my husband is doing everything for me when the kids so he's usually the one wanting to cry but instead I'm the one wanting to cry it's very very weird but you know what um, I'm looking at my baby right now so right now I'm going to finish eating and then I'm gonna go back to sleep take a bath and go back to sleep and oh he's sleepy you wanna, you wanna go down baby yeah let me put pajamas on him I'm, I'm gonna skip a bath because I don't want him to get cold and then I'm going to be yeah my poor baby yeah the twins are doing fine the twins Caleb is his only his cough Joshua thankfully he didn't catch it so we are thankful to God for that and yeah bye guys I know it was all over the place it was all about my sickness today but you know what this is the reality of our life